Hey there everyone, Trisha here reporting in from my home studio. We're all doing our best to adjust to life at home right now, and when you have a little one, that can be extra tricky. Not only do you have to keep them entertained, but you have to constantly stimulate their minds since they're drinking in everything like a sponge. We've recently put up a video from Juan on this channel going over some videos and applications that you can use to help keep the education going during this unexpected homeschooling stretch. And thankfully, there is also a lot of great tech out there that can make your life easier and give your kids the tools they need to stay entertained and learning. When you're looking for tech to help homeschool your kids, there are a few requirements. It can't be too expensive, so if it gets knocked over or spilled on, you won't have to talk to your local loan shark in order to replace it. You also have to be able to access everything your child needs to learn and be edutained, so it needs to be capable and compatible with their school's online learning portals, stream videos well enough, and be easy to use. And finally, it can also be good to make sure the device isn't too capable, if you know what I mean. Depending on your child, it can be a good idea to look at restrictions that can be built into the tech, like maybe it shouldn't just let them play Doom while they're supposed to be learning geometry. A Chromebook fits all of these categories almost perfectly. They're inexpensive, compatible with everything online thanks to the Chrome browser and built-in Google services, and they're just enough machine for the job of home education. What is a Chromebook? Well, it's a lightweight, inexpensive laptop powered by Chrome OS, which Google has been developing over the last decade. It's meant to be integrated with Google's online services and acts kind of like a bridge to the internet-based services that you use without much overhead. Chromebooks are made by the companies that we all know and love from the laptop game, like Acer and Asus, and come in a ton of different sizes and form factors with a range of special features. Need a touchscreen? Yep, you can get that. A tablet setup, it's got that too. They're great for playing educational YouTube videos for kids of all ages, and cool teens will even appreciate how easy it is to write papers and stream Spotify while pretending to write that paper. Add to that excellent battery life, and you have almost the perfect machine for learners of any age, whether they're learning at home or taking it with them to school every day. Almost 60% of computers assigned to students across the United States are Chromebooks, so they've been tested in real-world conditions that would terrify any product engineer, like a school backpack. If you're looking for an alternative to Chrome OS, there are a bunch of Windows laptops out there that fit the bill, even if they are a tad more expensive. Like the Microsoft Surface Go, which adds a pen for its touchscreen, or the Acer Aspire series. Most of those are available for under $600, and while not as streamlined, do allow for a bit more variety in software and features. We'll have a link in the description below this video that will point you towards Newegg's homeschooling page where there's a bunch of great tech that you can check out that's specifically selected with our current situation in mind. And before I wrap up, let me just share with you personally what I've been using tech-wise with my tiny human. Now, he just turned three, so he's definitely under main Chromebook age. We're focusing on pre-K lessons and pre-K apps, some of which Juan mentioned in our previous video. We recycled an old tablet that was no longer fast enough for what we would need it for for work, but is perfect for my son. He's watching educational music videos and taking the free lessons that Scholastic has out given the current situation. And that is his main tech device of choice for his lessons right now. We bought a protective case for it with a kickstand and some handles so that even if he drops it or throws it all around, which he does very often, it's still protected. And again, because it's an older device, we're not quite as worried if we end up having to replace it or if he were to crack the screen or something like that. Other devices we've considered getting for him are devices that are technology that inspire creativity rather than just consumption. That includes something like a Wacom tablet. If you have one that you happen to use for work anyway, let your kids take it for a spin as long as you're watching them. Of course, that's not uh, that's not an inexpensive toy for sure. But something else that inspires creativity less so than consumption, there are kids' cameras out there that we sell even here on Newegg with protective cases, some of which are waterproof, drop-proof, etc., so that you can inspire your tiny one to become a photographer or a videographer or make their own movies. Uh, I am always 
a fan of technology that can be used for creativity rather than just passive consumption. Active creativity, not passive consumption. As kids get older, you can explore video game options and video game consoles that are meant to be educational. Assassin's Creed has an educational mode to some of their titles. Or if you are looking to get a headset that won't break the bank, the Oculus Quest is currently $400 and does not need to be tethered to a PC. So virtual field trips, thanks to Google Satellite, here we come. Might be a great way to get your older kids excited about other parts of the world, even though we're all stuck inside. So I hope that this video gave you some ideas or helped you make a decision about the right learning machine for your kids. Something that can ideally take a little bit of stress out of that homeschooling life. It isn't easy taking care of work, life, and your child all while locked inside thanks to world events, but a little clever tech can help make it a little bit easier to bear and hopefully also kind of fun. Stay tuned to Newegg Studios as we continue covering the hardware you love and the tech that you need.